leave you with this thought. A lot of kids are screwed up and they should be happy. Why shouldn't you be happy when you're a kid? Because a lot of kids screwed up. Everybody has a theory. I have my own theory. I'm the only one that thought of this theory. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. I'm just the only one that thought of it. I think it's this place, Disney World and Disneyland. No, hear me out. Every kid's been there. If they haven't been there, their friends have been there. If they haven't been there, they've read about it. They know about it. And every kid does the same thing at Disney World. I love this place. It's always clean and sunny, and it's always fun, and everybody's friendly and smiling and helpful. Mother and father, why don't we live here all the time? If I was there, I'd talk to your kid. Hey, can I talk to the kid? Hey, don't get used to this. This is a fantasy world. It's not going to be like this when you grow up. You're going to work a difficult job, come home to more responsibility in a sick world that's getting sicker every day. What are we going to do to teach the kids to prepare them for adulthood? They don't want to listen. I want to do my part. I want to start my own theme park, a realistic adult theme park. <laughs> and we can take the little shits and give them a sneak preview <laughs> so they know what to expect. And it won't be in Florida. And it won't be in Southern California. It'll be on landfill in an industrial park in Newark, New Jersey, in a bad section. And we'll have a big black rusty sign that will say, Suck World, where everything sucks. And it will suck as soon as you get there. It looks like there's 3,000 pocket spaces, but everyone's a handicapped spot. It's over. It's a hydrant. Uncle Paul, we can't find a space. No shit, it's not Disneyland. It's Suck World. Get used to it. I don't want to go to Suck World. I want to go to Disney World like the other kids. Hey, I'm doing this for you. You'll thank me someday. First, we're going to go into Suck World Epcot Center. You'll learn about hundreds of different countries and cultures from around the world. Uncle Paul, everybody looks foreign and nobody speaks English. What country in Suck World Epcot Center is this? What are you talking about? We haven't left the parking lot yet. All right, come with me. Ooh, there's Uncle Paul's old girlfriend talking to Uncle Paul's new girlfriend. Ooh, it's a small world after all. Let's get out of here. Uncle Paul, I hate this ride. We've been in line for four hours. We haven't moved. This is the Department of Motor Vehicles ride. <laughs> Don't worry. When you get to the front of the line, they're going to tell you in the wrong line. You're going to have to start all over anyway. <laughs> Uncle Paul, I want to drive like an adult. I can't wait to get my license. Do you want to see how fun it is to drive like an adult? Come on. We're going to go in the Suck World Gridlock Go-Karts. <laughs> All right, strap yourself into the gridlock go-karts. This is going to be great. I can't wait to drive like an adult. <laughs> When's it going to start? Oh, it started. I'm not moving. You're stuck in traffic. This sucks. You think this sucks? You're going to come back at 5 o'clock and do it all over again. All right, come with me. People are going to tell you that money's not important, but it is. We're going to go into Suck World Festival of Finance. Honey, they shrunk my paycheck, okay? <laughs> Try that ride. Tell me what you think. Ow! My bum hurts. That seat is killing me. That's the IRS ride. <laughs> That's what it feels like every April. Get used to it, kid. Now, one of the toughest things you're going to have to do when you grow up is to make ends meet, balance the budget. It sounds easy, but it's not. We're going to go to Suck World Hills of Bills Breaking Even Treadmill Challenge, okay? Now, get on the treadmill. Now, see the bills and expenses in front of you? Try to reach them. <laughs> Uncle Paul, I can't catch up. You're learning, kid. You're learning. Uh. Someday you're going to have to discover women. That's another problem altogether. We're going to go in the Suck World Battle of the Sexes Relationship Theme Park. Try this ride. Tell me what you think. This is called the PMS Mood Swing Roller Coaster. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm sad. Uncle Paul, I'm confused. Don't we all? Join the club, kid. Uncle Paul, that ride looks scary. What's that? That's the Boss Mountain, Tower of Terror. <laughs> You're cruising right along, and then you hit bottom so fast you get nauseous, and all the money falls out of your pocket. <laughs> That's not the worst thing about the Boss Mountain. After they kick you off the ride, you still have to send them checks. <laughs> all right, we have time for one more ride at Suck World. We're going to go in the Marriage Encounter theme park because if we ever get married, you'll know what to expect. I don't want to go in the Marriage Encounter theme park. Don't worry, the best ride in all the suckles is at the Marriage Encounter. It's called the Great Sex Ride. 
And just like Uncle Paul promises, the little kid loves the great sex ride at the marriage encounter at Suckworld. I love this ride. You are right, Uncle Paul. This is the best ride at Suckworld. Can I go again? Can I go again? Can I go again? Same kid. After 150 times on the same ride. <laughs> Uncle Paul, I really liked the great sex ride at the marriage encounter at first, but now it's kind of like the same thing over and over. Can I go on another ride? <laughs> no, you can't. That's the catch. Come here. You can look at the other rides. Hey, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you.